In this video, I'm going to show you how I went about making my own power pack for my 1967 Dodge Charger. Uh, it's got an electroluminescent dash and also radio and console. And unfortunately, we were completely missing the power pack that takes 12 volts in and it outputs anywhere from 220 volts to 320 volts no load at uh, 250 Hertz so I did some digging online I ended up finding uh, basically what the original one was made out of and figured out well why not just make my own and one thing I didn't have access to though was what the transformer actually was and so I kind of did my best on DigiKey and I I got a transformer that I thought would work and I'll show you a little bit about how I did everything and uh, I can put in this description all the different parts I ordered a lot of those I actually like I said I did get offline though somebody had you know taken the time of putting that up there and I'll show you a couple schematics I used that uh, were also you know somebody shared so let's get started so this is the first schematic that I went by in order to build this this inverter um, it's really simple, three resistors, a transformer, a capacitor, and a transistor. And one thing you can tell on the transistor is, and it's already, it's called out, but when you see an arrow pointing in on a transistor, that means it's a PNP transistor, because NPN, you can use the rule of not pointing in, and it is pointing in, so it's a PNP. I got the wrong transformer in the end because I had to guess on that. Could have spent more time figuring that out exactly, but I didn't. Now in that first schematic, I didn't get the exact transistor that was called out because it was like a $35 transistor. So I found one that was a little bit cheaper and my when I followed that schematic exactly, it did not work. And so I actually Google searched that transistor that I did get and came up with this which is for a 63 Imperial and so I noticed there's some very distinct differences I followed this diagram and I was able to get a charge but with the wrong transformer I'm still not getting the voltage I should be getting but it does work and it shows that most of the dash lights do work so here's my cobbled up prototype so it's all hooked up it's in the glove box got power running to it Lights are on, they're not super bright, we're only at 137 volts, which is pretty low. You want to be about 220 volts with the load. I start the car up, they get a little brighter. I'm up around 152 volts now. And I'm just going to show you what they look like when they're off, so you can see. It's pretty bright in here too, that's why they, they look really dim. So right now I'm just going to disconnect them. Let's see what they look like when they're off. Back on. So they're working. So here I have laid out the makings of a box on some sheet metal that I'm going to cut out. I tried to keep the box just about as small as I could. Um, I've already pre-drilled some of the holes in it just to make it easier. And so this will be somewhere for the transformer mount and the transistor and all the stuff that goes in it. And here it is where I've folded it up and started screwing it together. And the components are now mounted inside. Almost looks factory. Well, that's going to do it. Uh, you know, most of the uh, lights did work. I'm not sure if the needles worked or not. I couldn't quite tell because it they're not bright enough or it's just too bright in there at the moment. For the most part, everything's working. Uh, I did have to connect, disconnect the radio. The radio was shortened out and that was preventing everything from working. But I really just wanted to see them work to some extent. And like I said, it's not ideal. They should be brighter than that. But uh, I kind of ran out of time. This car is going to Pennsylvania next week for the big Mopar show. And uh, it'll be for sale. And I wanted for somebody to be able to see that the majority of the dash lights do work. Um, it's a start. You know, if, if somebody wants to go get a power pack 
they can. Uh, they're they're kind of hard to come by. You can get them though, and uh, or if they want, they can get the proper transformer and uh, make what I made work better. So that's gonna do it. You know, if you if you're in a pinch and you need to figure out how to make something work with the internet and everything, you usually can get it done. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, I'll keep the updates coming.